you are once again welcome to WASI 2021 General Mathematics Paper 2. We are solving question 7 in this video. The A part of the question copy and complete the table of values for the relation y is equal to 4 plus 3x minus 2x squared for negative 4 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4 so this is the table given to us so let's complete the table first let's show some working for negative 4 and negative 3 so when x is equal to negative 4 we substitute x equal negative 4 wherever we see x in the relation so y will be equal to 4 plus 3 times negative 4 minus 2 times negative 4 squared so we need to simplify this negative 4 squared will be 16 so 4 minus 12 is negative 8 and this will give us negative 32 so y equal negative 40 so let's look at this one too when x equal negative 3 then y will be equal to negative 23 so we are going to fill in the table here but before that let us use the calculator to get the rest of the values so type mode on your calculator press the mode button then you can see that 7 correspond to table of values so select 7 now we are about to enter this relation into that space where the cursor is blinking so you type 4 plus 3x so press the 3 then to type the x you need to use the secondary function so we'll go to alpha then x over here then minus 2x so minus 2x squared so minus 2x squared so you go to the alpha again then x then x squared over here so we are able to type the function so you press equal to good so the calculator will ask you where do you want to start from so the beginning value is negative 4 so you type negative 4 negative 4 sorry negative 4 then you press equal to then it will ask you where you are supposed to end so the any value in this case is 4 so type 4 and press equal to now the step is the interval here which is 1 interval between the x values is 1 so press 1 and press equal to so the calculator will now generate the table of values for us so we are going to copy the rest of the values into this space over here so you can use the arrow key to assess the other y values so the f of x are the y values so let's fill our table now so if you complete the table well you should obtain this table over here so this is our graph sheet and we are going to plot these points on the graph sheet but before that let us draw the axis so let's draw the x axis and the y axis 
Okay, let's label the axis x axis and y axis it's very important that you do that then the next thing we are going to do now is to use the scales for the x axis we are using two centimeters to one unit so from zero we go to one two three four then on the y axis we are using two centimeters is to five units so that's what we have obtained here yeah. from zero we go to five ten then zero we go to negative five negative ten up to negative forty which is the highest value here good which is the highest negative value over here now let's plot the points so you can see the points that are plotted negative 4 with negative 40 then negative 3 with negative 23 then negative 2 and negative 10 then negative 1 negative 1 is here then we have 4 negative 16 the last one is here note that each box on the wire axis has now become 0 0.5 units so if you want one one unit you count two boxes so that is why negative one is here so five is here and four is here because each box is two two boxes is one so one two three four will give you four that's why zero four is here so you can apply that understanding to plot all the points now after plotting the points we need to draw a smooth curve through all the points good so this is how our curve is looking like so that's the relation y equal y is equal to 4 plus 3x minus 2x squared So now let's proceed to the B part of the question, the, the C part of the question. Using the graph, find the equation of the line of axis of symmetry. So the line of axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes to the vectors of the graph. So the vectors of the graph is located here, is the turning point of the graph. So the vertical line that point is 0.85.1 in actual fact it is 0 0.75 and 5.1 something but because you are using graph you are going to be given margin of errors plus or minus one plus or minus 0 0.1 so if you get 0 0.8 plus or minus 0 0.1 it will be correct so anything from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 you may be given the correct mark for the x value so the axis of symmetry is x is equal to the x value of the points that is the x value of the turning point that is x equal 0 0.8 is the equation of axis of symmetry or x equal 0 0.7 or x equals 0 0.9 now we have the maximum point of the curve is this point here which is the highest point that the curve will attain because the curve is increasing so this is the highest point on the curve that's the maximum point the highest point so the highest point on the curve or the maximum point is 0 
then we have to use the graph to find the values of x for which y decreases as x increases so from here you can see that as x values are increasing from negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 to negative 4 the y values are also increasing up to this point but not inclusive because at this point the curve is neither increasing nor decreasing so it means that as x increases and y decreases the values are supposed to be picked from here that is the values of x greater than this x value here up to 4 so the values of x for which the y decreases the graph is decreasing as you can see the graph is decreasing on this interval so the interval is 0 0.8 to 4 inclusive 0 0.8 is not inclusive but 4 is inclusive 0 0.8 is not inclusive because at this point the curve is neither increasing nor decreasing it's a turning point so the values of x for which y decreases as x increases is this so don't forget to subscribe to this channel we will be uploading more of these videos very soon thanks for watching now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe